Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Sunday the 31st of May 2020 and welcome to Iron Bridge. As you can see right in front of us is uh, the Iron Bridge itself and the Iron Bridge Tall House and I believe the name of the church on top of the hill up there is St Luke's Church. So today we're going to be exploring a footpath that takes us from here in Iron Bridge all the way to Barosley. And to start our journey, we're just heading over there. Welcome to Bethnal Edge Woodland. Now here we are at the start of the Seven Valley Way uh, which you can follow by following the green signposts and you're also you've got the start of a Bowers Yard Lime Kiln walk which you can find by following the blue signposts. But today to make our way to Barosley we'll be starting off by following part of the Patterns Rock Quarry walkway which you can find by following the red signposts. Now over the past few days this has been the starting point of uh, a few videos I've made recently but in each of them I've tried to explore a different path going in a different direction and like I said already we're going to be doing just that today following another path a different way this time taking us to Barosley if all goes to plan. So yeah. Let's uh, carry on this way. So if we were to follow the path in front of this, we'll be going along the Seven Valley Way, which uh, you can also find by following the green signposts that you might spot along the way. And also, further on down here, is the start of the Bower, Lo the Bower Yard Lime Kiln path, which you can find by looking out for the blue signposts. Uh, both of those paths I've explored in previous videos uh, a few days ago. But as for this video today, what we're doing is returning to these steps here. And as you can see, uh, today we're following these directions to go to Brosley. See, so yeah, I'm looking forward to making my way there. Now, as seen in my recent videos over the past few days, I have explored these steps two or three times already, but I haven't followed the path that takes me to Brosley, at least not in this direction so it's going to be good it's going to be really good uh, exploring that way today so let's carry on onwards and upwards I'm looking forward to this one So uh, we're returning to this crossroads here. As you can see, Bower Yard and the Bower Yard Lime Kiln, you can get to from here by going in that direction. 
along that path there which I've explored in a recent video uh, a few days ago and also from here you can get to Bridge Bank and back to Iron Bridge by going that way which uh, I explored in a video I think it was two days ago now so yeah but today we're coming up this way up, these, uh, up this way yeah because this is where we want to go to get to Barosley so let's carry on Okay, here is where we want to be for today's video. Oh well, just in front of this in fact. Now, if you saw the video that I made yesterday, and also the video I made the day before yesterday, you'll know that going left takes you along a public footpath which you can find by following various yellow signposts but we're not going that way today instead we're just coming here now as you can see going that way marked by the red arrow signpost is the Patterns Rock Quarry Walk which I explored a few days ago and made a couple of videos about that in that direction so we're not going that way instead we're just coming up here to that signpost there As you can see, the uh, signpost points in the direction of where to go to follow the Patterns Rock Quarry path. But as I say, we've already done that uh, a few days ago. Instead, we're going to carry on to Brosley, which is up these steps here. Yeah, let's carry on this way. Now, it does kind of look like we've got the option of following the path to our left here. But I'm not going to go that way. Instead, I'm going to stick to the steps and go this way here for as, for as much of a journey as allows, basically. So let's carry on following the stairs. Okay, it looks like the uh, path splits in two directions. We can either go straight on or we're going to go left. Uh, I think I'm going to go left and follow the path in this direction. Should get back on track 
in a few moments, I expect. I've got a bench here. Part of the surrounding area is dedicated in memory of Kevin Manahan of Newport, 1965 till 2005, everyone's friend. Right, let's uh, carry on this way. I think we're supposed to go this way. Let's see how this all works out. Now we should be somewhere nearby, somewhere we visited yesterday. Uh, might just be around this corner in fact. Let's have a look. Yeah, in fact, I think we were here yesterday. Now, if we were to follow the path in that direction, going right, that will take us along the public footpath and across back to Patton's Rock Quarry Walk, which we explored in yesterday's video. We've just come from that direction and that takes us back to Ironbridge. And here we were yesterday. Now, if we were to turn left, that will take us back along the public footpath that we explored in yesterday's video. So we don't want to go that way today. Instead, because we're going to Brosley, We're turning right. And we're exploring this way. It's going to be interesting exploring this path because uh, I've never been this way before. Sorry, burp. Yeah, I've never been this way before. I don't think I've ever been to Brosley in the first place, to be honest with you. Or if I have been to Brosley, it happened so many years ago that I simply don't remember. So the path is starting to curve around to the left. Just a gentle curve by the looks of it. So yeah, let's uh, skip ahead a bit and see what lies in front of us. I get the uh, impression this path uh, is going to carry on for somewhat longer than 
I might have first anticipated. Well, we'll see how it pans out. But it's a good day for a walk anyway. Path again, taking a turn to the left. A potential zigzag. Hang about, I think I know where we are. I think. We were here yesterday. Okay, the path splits. To the left, I just want to double check this. So we're going to have a look up to the left here. All right, I think the path in front of us heads back to where we just came from. In front of us is a different way to get back to where we were a few minutes ago. So uh, let's head back down here. Okay, that path there is where we've just come from. And if we were to explore back that way, that will take us back to, that will eventually take us back to where we started our video today. So what we want to do is come this way. I don't think we were here yesterday, in fact, but it does look kind of familiar, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Park bench. Okay, as you can see, Iron Bridge. is obviously back along the path that way. This style is dedicated to the memory of Mary and Ron Smith. And this area is dedicated for by the Woodland Trust. Am I supposed to go this way now? Okay, um, I've just had a chat with a very, very friendly person, a very nice lady walking a dog. And she informs me that the lane up that way takes you toward Benthal Hall. So yeah, um, that's going to be interesting to explore on a future day, making a video about in the next few weeks or so. So yeah, Bethnal, Benthal Hall is up that way, apparently. And uh, this way is Benthal and Brosley.
Nice one. What I'm going to do is head in this direction and head down the road this way because I think I can see something that might be interesting and worth exploring. So we're here and we've got a sign pointing to a public footpath in that direction. So let's explore this way for a couple of moments. I know where we are. This is where I thought we were a few minutes ago. But, no. I remember this gate from yesterday. It's in fact here that we were, that we were at yesterday. And as you can see, this is part of the uh, public footpath which I made a video about yesterday which you can find by following the yellow signs. Now going back in that direction takes you back toward Ironbridge and going that way takes you back to where we were earlier on in this video at that crossroads and that way takes you to Iron Bridge see so yeah, back that way was where we were early on in the video and eventually the path will split to go in one of uh, three different directions one direction will take you back to Iron Bridge Another direction, which we explored yesterday, takes you on to Patton's Rock Quarry Path. And the third direction loops you into Brosley, and it's the path we've been following today in this video. So we're not going that way at the moment. Uh, we're not going back that way, because we were there yesterday. Instead, we're coming out back through here. We're just heading back down this way. Okay, so we're back on this road now. Going right up that way basically takes us back to where we've already been in this video and as I said from what I've been told by a very friendly local resident uh, going up the road far enough will take you to Benthal Hall. So we're not going to go that way today because well we've just come from that way. Instead, we're going to follow the road down here and see where it takes us. I don't know where exactly this road will lead us, but I suspect I know where it goes, but I'm not sure. At the end of the day, there's only one way to find out, and that's to carry on and follow the road to see where it goes. Looks like we've got a few houses up ahead. So yeah, let's uh, carry on and explore. Mm -hmm. 
So the road we're on opens up here at this junction. Can follow the main road that way if we wanted, but I'm not going to do that. Just going to head over there. As you can see, from this location, you can get to the Piper Museum, which is quarter of a mile away, and you can get to Brosley, which is half a mile away. Uh, I'm not going to do that today, though. Uh, it'd be good to visit the Piper Museum, to be honest here. Well, I think I'll do that another day. What I'm instead going to do is follow this main road here which takes us back to Iron Bridge which is three quarters of a mile away from here. So yeah. Let's carry on and explore this way. I'm going to guess, make an assumption that this road uh, eventually goes down to Bridge Bank which is right next door to the Iron Bridge itself uh, and Bridge Bank I made a video about two days ago now so yeah that's going to be uh, good if it does and it's also going to be good if it connects to a footpath as well in fact hang about wait a minute we were at this location two days ago. Two days ago, I made a video called Iron Bridge Public Footpath. And in that video, I explored a public footpath, which you can find by following the yellow signposts. And in that video, it brought us out to this location here. So if we were going to go, if we were to follow the path in front of us, that'll take us back to the uh, public footpath. And it'll take us beyond that to Patterns Rock Quarry Path as well and eventually back to Iron Bridge itself. But we're not going to go that way. Instead, we're going to follow the main road down this way. We're going to carry on down here. Here. Yeah. Coming back to Iron Bridge. And back up the hill is Benthol. Back up that way. Let's uh, carry on down the road back to Ironbridge then. That's a great view of Ironbridge over there. And, uh, well, Ironbridge Gorge. And it's a fantastic view of St. Luke's Church. And if you look over here, across the road, Right here is the start of a footpath which I explored two days ago and if you follow this path far enough that will take you to Bower Yard Lime Kiln which I made a video about a few days ago. 
It's a really good uh, place to explore that. Well, as I say, that's an amazing view of Ironbridge, Cor Ironbridge Gorge and also the church on the hill there. That's just amazing. All right, we're just, just going to cross the road. So we're just going to follow the path in front of us now and head down back to Iron Bridge. So here we are, back where we started today's video. It's been a good day. Maybe another day I'll explore Burrowsley. Maybe. We'll see how it turns out. Until then, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Until next time. Thank you and goodbye. And I'll see you all soon. Take care.